introduction video I mentioned that each sample page in the Mirage has a length of 256 wave samples so why not load wave sample material into the Mirage that has a single cycle of 256 samples so how are we gonna do that um, we'll move to the computer I'll show you uh, using Spectrosonics Omnisphere hold on so this is Omnisphere. I have a JX3P raw saw wave sample loaded. It's just a simple wave sample. And the trick is that if you play the F3 key and you tune that down by 23 cents, so F3 key and tune it down by 23 cents, you get a wave sample that has exactly 256 samples per single cycle so each single cycle will fit in one page of the mirage so when working with the mirage sampling or editing it's always good idea to um, have the parameter chart in front of you so you can always take a look at it and we need to prepare the mirage before sampling so we're gonna set it up right here and we start with parameter 73 and we set that to a value of 34 and this value equals a sample rate of 29,411.77 hertz and that's perfect when you're sampling a note with a pitch of F3 tuned to minus 23 so again so that one page um, of the Mirage contains one single cycle of the waveform. I hope this is clear because it really is essential when you're working with the Mirage. Okay, let's move on to the next parameter and that's parameter 74, which is the input filter. I set it to 80 so it samples, but it does not sample all the high unnecessarily high frequencies so parameter 75 is the line input or the mic level input sometimes i use the uh, mic input and people say ah you should not use that because it has a compressor on it and blah 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 i don't care if it sounds good it is good so for this case we're setting it to on so we're using the line input Next is parameter 76, which is the sampling threshold. I set it to 26, which was fine and works for me. So parameter 77 is multi-sampling. We set that to off. We're just going to use one sample and span it over the entire keyboard. So no multi-sampling in this tutorial. All right, now we're ready to uh, set the um, Mirage in sample mode. So uh, I'm gonna actually press sample lower and now we're in monitoring mode. So we can uh, monitor the input level for the sample. So I press the uh, play key on Omnisphere and I see that the LEDs are just lighting up in the middle so that's fine if it's if the top row lights up you're um, overdriving the input so now I press enter I press play on the um, Omnisphere and we get a signal 
the Mirage is sampling and sampling is finished. On the uh, lower bank, uh, our sample is playing back at the E key, but it's not looping. So um, since we sampled the F3 key minus 23 cents, uh, we should be able to get a loop of one sample page here in the Mirage. We are moving to parameter 65 and we switch on the looping mode and you don't hear anything and that's just because I released the play button in Omnisphere too soon before sampling was finished. So um, the loop start point is at F E and the loop end point is at F E. So let's move the... Um, sample start point to the beginning of the sample so we'll move it to 0, 0.0 the first page of memory in the uh, lower bank so i'm scrolling down all the way there's no shortcuts for this in the uh, in the original 3.2 operating system so we have to scroll all the way down all right now the sample is playing but it's looping the complete sample from beginning to end that's not what we want so we're gonna move the sample end page and we're gonna move it to 0.0, .0 as well so we're just using one page and let's see if that works there you go and there's the one page loop and let's see yeah let's just give it some sustain or release actually and that sounds awesome I'm gonna set parameter 72 to a value of 61 and that's the uh, key span so I'm gonna have the sound spend the entire keyboard. And that's your one page loop example. So I'll show you some more examples of different kind of loops. So I've loaded up another sample. It's uh, from a Fairlight and it's called Fairlight Anklungs. It sounds like this. With this sample, you know, uh, if you just make a one page loop, it doesn't sound nice. So uh, I use different values for this loop. I'm using a uh, larger part of the sample. So the sample start is at zero. The sample end is at page B2. And I'm switching on the loop function. There you have a more rhythmic kind of loop with this sample. Uh, yeah, it fits the sound better, I think. So, it's actually a pretty nice sound. So, okay, um, I'll give another example. Uh, I have a S wave sample loaded from a SH2000 and it's called Tuba Growl and it sounds like this again this sound needs a different looping point than just a one page loop so the loop start is at page 3.8 and the loop end is at 4.3 so when we turn parameter 65 on the loop point is on it sounds like this and i'm giving it some more uh, release on the uh, both the filter and the amp envelope 
so you can hear what it sounds like when there's a long release on the sound and how it loops. Wow. 